Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament. <laughs> no way. Never. Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? <laughs> and that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? You can look at it, but paws off. I promise. <laughs> We didn't do anything, Beck. We're totally missing. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's like so pretty. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Uh, <laughs> meow. Louder. Meow. Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right! The tournament! Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy, you know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In that no? nearby alley? Hey, that's enough! Back to rehearsing, Nugget! <laughs> I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. See what? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out! Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Hey, the name, Sam! Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? Give me the name, Sam! <laughs> no one even 
dare step into the ring, you're the winner! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. <laughs> Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! <laughs> and the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! <laughs> that was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow! <laughs> Try and do like me. Meow. Okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. No, oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. Whoa! Now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Whoa! If only Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, I'm ready! <laughs> With a meow like that, we're gonna win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! The huh? for the last round of Cat vs. Cat runs uh -huh. into the rain. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? 
so that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! 30 seconds time out! We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't meow. But what are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! Big, <laughs> <laughs> big, Victoria! Big, big, Victoria! Big, big, Victoria! That was one close call, guys. Victoria, <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I always feel like an orphan when they go away, even when it's only for a few hours. How about we play hide and seek? Yay! Can I play? Say, can I play with you? Okay, but you get to count first. Mom! Dad? But who are you supposed to be, kid? It's me, Wash! Washington, your son! <laughs> it's true, it's me! Uh -huh. Wash, my little boy! What is that ridiculous disguise? You ashamed to be a fox or what? Uh, it's a... Uh... Wash, what are you... Uh, hey, hi there, how's it going? Remember me? Sam, Sam the Boar! <laughs> Here you go. We do the disguises because... Shh. If my folks find out we're living with humans, they'll be furious. They could drag us straight back to the forest, Sam. What's up? Have we stopped playing? Oh, they're so cute. What are your names, little cutie pies? Yeah. Eugenie? Susie? What is it with your dressing up obsession, son? It's not an obsession, Dad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fancy dress. Oh, we love fancy dress parties. Isn't that right? <laughs> is it? I thought we were playing hide and seek. Say, you haven't seen where I live. Wait till you see my lair. Come on. There you go. Ta-da! Son. Where's the mud? Where's the pebbles? Dead leaves! Rotting wood! The utility room! Show them the utility room! It's dark, it's a total mess, and it stinks to high heaven of dirty socks! They'll love it! Mm. Ah, that's better. So much more like a proper lair. And this is my bedroom. Not bad, huh? Where is your spring? I sure am thirsty. Don't tell me you don't have running spring water in your lair. I know, buddy. Call that a spring? It's a puddle! Look, the water isn't even flowing. Ta-da! Water on tap. See that, honey? Huh? It's a magic spring. 
close whenever you want. See? Those modern lairs aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Who are those two clowns? Wash's parents. And we're obviously not meant to let on that we're living with humans. Are you telling me you have house domestic uh. pets in your lair, son? <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's, uh, I mean... Honestly, can't you see? It's his little sweetheart. Pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh. There is no way I'm going to let anyone think I'm your sweetheart, okay? You get rid of them this minute or I'll tell them the real reason you're wearing that disguise. Vic, I beg of you, if you do that, they'll take me straight back to the forest and I'll be the disgrace of the family. I want them to feel proud of me. <sighs> if they do believe you're my sweetheart, half the battle is won. You're so beautiful, gracious, intelligent. Not wrong there. Okay, I'll play the game. But if you don't get rid of them fast, I'll take care of them myself. I'm <clears throat> warning you. I, I, I promise, Vic. Thank you. You won't regret this. Little <clears throat> Your dad's got a surprise for you! You won't regret this? That's what you said, wasn't it? You'll be so much happier like this. When it comes to comfort, there's nothing like a traditional lair. <laughs> oh dear! When the Livingstones see this, they're not going to be happy! <sighs> Relax! A quick lick of the brush and everything will be perfect when they get back. What happens if they get back early? No, they won't. My folks will be gone soon anyway. How's about a little chicken hunt? Just like the old days. What do you say, son? <laughs> hey, uh, Dad, stop. Why go outside? I've got my own chicken coop right at home. Not bad, huh? That thing? A chicken coop? But where are the chickens? Inside. Just watch my hunting technique, Dad. <laughs> there you go, Daddy-O. What is this abomination? Are you trying to poison me, son? Don't you have a proper chicken coop in the hood? Say, fresh meat. 29, 37, 33. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wash, do you know him? Is he playing too? Honey, dinner's ready. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we got to, uh, uh, Vic's got to show off her culinary talents. Vic, honey, can you come over here, please? <laughs> Do your little magic with this hamster. Sorry to say, my little queen bee hates people watching her cook. You'd be better off in the living room. As you wish, Washeroo. Uh. <laughs> Whew. Now run and hide. Get it? <laughs> Vic, you gotta help me. <laughs> What's that? Hamster on crude, Vic style. Translation, please. Two kibbles, two leaves, and my special ingredient inside. Vic, you are amazing. I know, but never, ever call me my little queen bee again, little washeroo. <laughs> Hamster on crude, Vic style. I'm sure it's much better than it looks. Yuck! It's worse than it looks! This is disgusting! You want to get rid of us, son? Is that it? Trying to tell us we're not welcome? No, I mean, uh, yeah, it's but... It's okay, son. We get it. We're on our way. Yeah! Well played, Vic! How did you do that? <laughs> well, it only takes one little drop of cat pee to make even the best food totally inedible. But it is a trick I only pull in absolute emergencies, and the Livingstones will be home soon. Dad, I'm sorry, it's modern cuisine. You're not gonna leave just like that. Give me one good reason to stay, son. Just one! <laughs> yeah, I know, TV! What? What? TV! That thing there, it's the best reason in the world to stay. Huh? But that's Elmo and Sandra! How did they get inside there? Elmo, Sandra? There must be a door somewhere. <laughs> 
No, it's just a box full of pictures. We even get to change the pictures using this special... Magic box! Stop! Ah, humans! humans! Quickly, we've got to get out of this lair. There's not a second to lose. Stop! Don't panic. The humans are trapped. They're inside the box. They can't get out. Are you sure? Dr. Alessandro, we have to operate on Michael as fast as we can. I think I broke his heart. <laughs> Humans are totally wacko. See that, honey? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thanks to you, my folks will leave here proud of me. Well, what do we do if they react like Sam the first time they ever watched TV? Yeah, my million isn't finished yet. Don't panic. If I remember correctly, we turned up at the end of the episode. That means we still have a small chance of getting rid of them before the Living Stones get back. <laughs> Come to my arms, my boy. I am proud of you, son. I must admit that to begin with, you gave me a scare. I even wondered if you weren't living with humans. <laughs> This little box with humans hidden inside? That's brilliant! Congratulations, come son! On, let's go! And be sure to come see us in the forest with your friends! Oh. <laughs> Too late! We're done for! I don't believe it! How wonderful! Honey, have you seen this? Amazing! How did they ever guess it was the annual Woodland Festival? They've given the <laughs> whole living room a makeover! Look! There's even real mud! <laughs> ah, it's the Hendersons! What incredible box costumes you're wearing! They look so real! Make yourselves comfortable, my friends. The party is just about to begin! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Henderson, you changed your costumes? It must be said, though, your fox costumes were very fetching. So that was it, your little secret? You disguise yourself to live with humans like some dumb poodle? I'm happy here, Dad. They adore me. I know it's not what you wanted for me, but... It doesn't matter, son. It's been so lovely to see where you really live, Wash. <laughs> it's not how I'd have wanted you to turn out, but if you're happy here... To me, you'll always be my little wild fox cub. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, 
Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase. <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Oh, row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 row. What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 row. Whoa, 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 row, row, row. Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see whoa. he wants to play? All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, whoa, little whoa, doggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. Row, 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 row. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah! The mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello? Exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. <laughs> Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I work for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How uh, about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Well, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells 
straight, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. It is partly your fault, too. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass, get me out of here! I'm sorry, Sam, I'm sorry! Sam, you're my best friend, I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on, and if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you gonna do that? I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore, all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not Polecat. It's not skunk, it's, it's, it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Quick, we gotta help them. Uh-uh, totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls. You really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it, it won't matter. There's no danger for you, you're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see, the answer is no. Uh, um, I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face <gasps> with cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please, have mercy. Not the seven-year chabashu. A new odor, what is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist! That's enough! What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. Mission accomplished! Now everyone, head for shelter! Victory! I've got you now, you vile unidentified creature with your putrid odor! Thanks to you, I'll be famous again! I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Mm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something, yeah? <laughs> Mm. This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Da, it's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Yeah, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989998819991991. Seven two five three in case of emergency. Destination: Bebop Bunny. Bunny. Yay! Rush! Stop the car! No, we're gonna get caught! Oh come on, Sam! Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Yeah! Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls. I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, 
okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Ah! Ah! Oh, we have to turn this thing off! Alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound. Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. The <laughs> pound! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic remote control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> the Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened. Come and get your fill of bunny thrills. Shall we go? It looks awesome. Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, wash. Speed up. They're right behind us. Gone. We're safe. Yeah, mm. uh, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. Number. I think now's the time! Oh, yeah, good idea! But, uh, what was the number again? Uh, after 999881999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Yay! Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool! I ditched them! Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please <laughs> Did you just touch something? Charge <laughs> battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? 
no idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> Of course, we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah, we're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes, and we knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey, how did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out. Bebop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner. Wow, that works. Awesome. Thank you, girls. <laughs> you see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. You agree? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Oh. Her favorite teacups. Ah, the sugar. Sam, paws off. Laugh while well, you still can, girls. It's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. And this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> 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 Washington, bad dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? Hmm. Oh no, my favorite pillow. No way is she Sit going to- down here, my little BB. Ugh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure, the spitting image of Apricot. My darling BB when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? But we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings! Come say hello to Auntie Rachel! <laughs> hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, that Auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Ta-da! Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some sugar sugars too! BB! 
Ah, when I hear the word sugar, sugar. Sorry, guys. Duty call. No, it's not fair. And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not. Ah, uh, come on. Quit soaking. Let's go play hide and go pig. Great idea. But it's Wash's turn to play wolf. Don't worry. We'll go get him. Last one there is a stink bomb. Hey, Wash, you gotta come play hide and go pig with us? Oh, sure. And it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, 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 BB. You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo, shoo, out of here. No way she's going to stop us from playing hide and go pig with Wash. Is everything I... okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Shiggy Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore. Go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Oh, what a pet! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen. The first boat out of here tomorrow morning. We? You got it. Ribby and me. I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls. Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarder tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. Oh, there's a letter! It's from Wash! Dear friends, I 
love you so much. You're just awesome, all of you. But especially Susie, who is super, super charismatic. Well, what? I don't know how to read, so I interpret. Hey, that's a letter from Wash? His paw prints. He'd rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. Baby has disappeared, and I won't leave without him. Baby, our boat is set to sail. Boy, is it ever hot. How about some fresh air, baby? Washington! Wash, is that really you? I didn't meet you after all. Annie is going away. You can come back home now. Great. Where's my costume? Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that uh, now they make uh, Daddy Kibble for cat. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Oh. Mm -hmm. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is home, Pepe! Pepe! <laughs> Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Can keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today and... Hey guys, come see this! What? I just had an amazing idea for a game! <sighs> just wait! Sorry, Eugenie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dime. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the where they Don't eat change channels! Their food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey! How about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm gonna need your help. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. Eugenie, you're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, wanna play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk 
on cards. <sighs> Everybody in position and action. <laughs> Vic, out of the way. You're hogging the <clears throat> shot. So what? <laughs> Cut! That's great! Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can! Do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy, is it? Mm -hmm. Wow! You, Jeannie, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not gonna take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? Uh, hear that, honey? Uh. <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey! He's still a wild animal! No, look! He's totally harmless! You see? How about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. Mm. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. <laughs> so, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm going to take it off, too. Ah, no, don't! Why not? <laughs> I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! I've looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Woof, woof, woof! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're gonna make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying discs to get buddy-buddy. <laughs> Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... It's okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. Ah! Shoot! What was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Catch! Yes. 
arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> <laughs> you can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh no, our poor little fox. And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash? Sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? Yeah. On, start now, will you? Whoa! Don't you see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound! Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pest. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it. No! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oh no, I was about to beat my record. 
Sweet! You'll get it right next time, Sam. Yeah, we'll be back, and next time, vengeance will be ours, amigo! First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program! Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house! Whoa! What is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome! You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! <laughs> oh, no! Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. <laughs> I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no! No, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one too! And me, and me, and me! No! They're not groovy at all! Quick! We have to wash our costumes straight away! <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day! Yoo We're back already! Oh, those spots! What are they? Honey, come quickly! I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease! Ah! You're hideous! Quick! Let's get the defense! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, how troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Ugh. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? No TV? No roast chicken! Oh, Sam! Give me a hand here! Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Not even a small bar of soap! Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. You can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. Hmm. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Phew. I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Wash? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. We're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff. Oh well, but won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> well, my 
you're going to be proud of me. They have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Put on a pair of gloves. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Well done, Vladimir. Uh, Don't move. I'll go see who it is. Vladimir! Uh? Hiya, buddies! What? How on earth there did you... There we go! Mission accomplished! Your day has come at last, Vladimir. Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! a press conference within the hour, and we're gonna show the world and its greatest specialists what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've gotta get out of here and fast. <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage isn't locked like mine. All you have to do is push it. Uh, ah. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so that, that put me in a special cage. But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm. I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat! Meow! Meow! And I hate dogs! Uh, everything okay there, buddy? <laughs> Like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's going crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! Yeah! What's going on, Wilma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Duty is calling, Vladimir! Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now! Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man and show some guts! You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy! You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a. Sam! Don't give away our secret! A uh, cat! Hey! I'm actually a cat too! Meow! Meow! Yeah! So are we! Meow! Meow! Have you all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined! Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tail. Uh -oh. A dog? I hate dogs! <laughs> Video 
Video conference activated. Hello. 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 Mushy, mushy. <coughs> What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! yeah. Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in, in the, the Shower, shower the, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. <laughs> Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? <laughs> First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yay, 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 yay. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Good. What is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is called. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant 
when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners. Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No! That's a lion! I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no, I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on! A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke. That song was pre-recorded. Incredible! 
Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary. But what in the world is this bizarre specimen? Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey, why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey. Do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? Huh? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, um, uh, human, you know? <laughs> Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. There's nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the Animal Pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, he's probably wild, too. And dangerous. <gasps> oh, no! I think he's taking us back to the forest. And our costumes are back home in the bag. For sure the living stones are going to find them when they come home. Didn't realize they were nothing but a bunch of wild animals. We're <laughs> You, yes. But me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty, calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun. <laughs> We're not going there on a picnic, Vic. 
Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with the pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. And your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Here's Sam! So fresh bark! Then there's only one solution. I think the time has come, Sam. I can't. He's my friend. All the good times we had together. What? You ate your friend the acorn? Not even. At the last split second, an enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose. An alpha boar. There was nothing I could do. Yep. Survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. Always. how it happened. <sighs> you, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that. Yeah, well, okay, I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape, <laughs> That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey. Everything okay, Vic? Mm -hmm. We may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened to us in the forest? Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> In here! Thanks! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed. Those humans are all crazy. Let's cut down the last one and we're off. Over here! Thanks! My name is Susie. I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam. 
And he's, um, he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Ah, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Oh, he is too cute. Wow, that funny looking animal lives peacefully with humans? I'll go ask him. Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Susie, you okay? Well, yeah, but I wasn't able to do anything. The metal monster caught me before I could talk to the bunny beaver. Who are these blockheads? Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> Yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Hush, please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Vic, we're going home. Wait a sec. Take us with you. We want the same life. <laughs> That's the best one yet. It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're going to try our luck. <laughs> They really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three! Hey! I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie! Ha! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door. And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hey guys, 
No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape, the two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, nope. can't see any reason to panic! How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? Yeah. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah, back then we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Oh, now that's a foxhole from heaven. <laughs> Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic, and then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun. <laughs> Do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing. But what in the... <laughs> so, Vic, feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. You. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are going to... Uh, sorry, Victoria. Do you want to play with us? <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. He's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me you'd leave. So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But, but your word is worthless then. You're nothing but a bunch of savages. Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get lost your fur! Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the rose chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles. Huh? <gasps> ah! Wild animals! <laughs> hello? Hello? <laughs> Is this the animal pound? There are four of them, with fangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. City hunters, run for your lives! in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look, a fox cub. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> can you believe it? He didn't <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> hey, little cop! Don't be so discreet. Go for it. 
That's exactly what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look, there's tons of them in that cave over there. Let's grab some. You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume. Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double. The cave is packed with humans. Look, over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Awesome! <gasps> nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the living stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the living stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say what? I never told you this, but... Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey, what's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? <laughs> You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. <gasps> Huh? Huh? <laughs> I have absolutely got to find a way to get them out of there! Boy, am I ever stopping. Hey, we hijacked the animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that! Dinner is served! Yeah. The police! Hey! Huh? Her costumes! It's not the police, it's the Living Stones! We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar! It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes, and without our costumes, the Living Stones will never take us back. Yeah. 
What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Psst! Susie! An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. The TV! Your kibble! The sofa! <laughs> You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>